Several high tides, as Eric was just explaining, and the threat is real. WBZ's Louisa Muller picks up that story in Marshfield. You can see where the January storm slammed this seawall in Marshfield, and it's still in bad shape. That's why Marshfield police and towns up and down the coast are asking people who live in flood prone areas to seek alternate shelter right now. A powerful storm will begin impacting New England offshore waters. On a balmy February evening with gentle waves lapping the beach, that was the message from the Coast Guard to boaters. Hunker down, a storm is coming. We were anticipating higher seas, higher storms, and more flooding damage from this storm over a much longer period than we have from the January storm. Water flowed through the Situate Lighthouse area back in January, but the town administrator says a cocktail of potentially three high tides and whipping winds is expected to slam the surf over the seawall over and over again come Friday. And it really doesn't have time to go out before the next tide comes in, so it builds up and builds up and just becomes worse and worse. This home built in 1906 is one of the only houses on the block to survive the blizzard of 1978, and even it will have a time on Friday. You can see the sand left over. That's from the storm in January. Now, locals say this time around, water's going to flow over this wall and have trouble getting out from these drainage pipes. We had a couple inches of water in our driveway and about six inches in our backyard. Some folks who live through the last storm say this time they'll head for high ground. Probably talk to friends in North Situate to stay with them on Friday night. Towns up and down the coast hope everyone will heed the warning. We're urging people at this point, if you have a place to go and you're in one of those areas, that you should get out Friday morning before the tides start. Situate will decide tomorrow if it'll open an emergency shelter, and the police chief is asking anyone who lives in a low lying area to be out by 9 a.m. Friday. In Marshfield, Louisa Moeller. WBZ News. The 